So Richard, we're here on a very wild and windy Sutton Bank overlooking the Vale of York. And this has been termed the finest view in England, but why is it such a great place for stargazing? Well, you can see behind us, very, very rural North Yorkshire, and that means we don't have the lights that we do have in the city. And of course, we're perched about a thousand feet above sea level here at Sutton Bank. That's fabulous for stargazing, above all that mist. It's all about environment and living in a clean, good nighttime environment, and the stars are just one aspect of that, really. We have an education programme to show people what a dark sky friendly light might be, to actually convince them, yeah, we can have convenience and light as well at night without it being disturbing wildlife or getting in the way of star viewing. What does that mean for visitors coming here to the North York Moors National Park? How does this being a dark sky reserve make it good for their stargazing? Well, there's a couple of things really. As part of the whole push to be a dark skies area, we organise a lot more public events. We do two stargazing festivals each year, but meaningfully, we're also taking extra measures to protect the night sky that we have above us. So what does that actually mean for me coming here and looking up at the night sky compared to being in York or Darlington or Middlesbrough? Oh, it's absolutely chalk and cheese. So in those places, 10, 15 stars, if you're lucky. If you come somewhere like this, 1,500 stars. The Milky Way, we see beautifully writ large across the night sky. And also, even the northern lights on occasions we see from the North York Moors. I mean, it just sounds like an absolute sense of wonder. So as a visitor coming here to do that, obviously you can literally stand here and look up and see the stars. But what else is going on in the park that allows visitors to access stargazing? Well, we've got loads of events on public events. We've also got two stargazing festivals every year, so there's never been more public opportunities to engage in stargazing. And that's really what we want, because if we do that, then we're more likely to try and protect the night sky for future generations, so we leave it looking starry. Well, the sun is burning bright, but it is creeping its way towards the horizon, so should we go and set up to go and do some stargazing? Let's do that. Come on. Let's do it. Well, it's pretty late now here at the Sutton Bank Star Hub, and we're using red light because that means that our eyes stay dilated so that we can still see the night sky but be able to see what we're doing as we move around. I've had the most amazing time here with Richard. I am a star geek, I'm a space geek. To be able to come here and see the night sky as we should be able to, rather than in a place polluted by light, has been, it's been wonderful. And the Dark Sky Reserve here at the North York Moors National Park is a very special place and I'm so privileged to have been here to see it.